Hello everyone, this is Kakuru Bernard. Kakuru Bernard is a computer ICT teacher and so I will be taking you through a number of lessons and in case you need to contact me after those lessons, my numbers are here 07756 or 0758767895 and so I will be taking you through a copy of my book this book is a comprehensive approach to practical computer studies it is an all-level book by I myself Bernard so for more information about the author is here and so these lessons will be extracted from this very book succeed and excel in computer studies so in this book we are going to look at a variety of numbers ranging from microsoft word to web design so in the middle there we shall look at excel we shall look at database we shall look at web design etc etc so to begin with is practical question one it says using a word processor of your choice type the document below using comic sans font style with font size 14 save it as reading lesson one please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more lessons that will be loading so to begin with we shall have to create a folder on the desktop this folder can be called practical lesson one so you open your folder so inside you can create a word document this word document you call it reading lesson one you can enter twice to open your document and when this document opens we are supposed to type the work there so the instruction was saying that we type this content so after typing this document, you can see that the text ends on the same line. It is in Comic Sans, and then they want us to put it in font size 14 also. And then this text from here to here is bolded and striked through. So from here, we can highlight our work. We come and choose Comic press enter size 14 we can justify then we select from here up to there you bolt and it has and strike through you save changes to your work So after saving this work, now we start following the rest of the instructions. We have instructions here to follow. So Instruction B says copy all the text and paste it onto page 2. So that we copy this work, so highlight, copy, then you click after the end of the last paragraph, you go to insert and click blank page go home tab and choose paste so we are now on page 2 
it is reading page 2 of 2 so from here the rest of the questions should be answered from this page so next on our instruction include a centered heading jack and the bean stock and format it to size 28 orange color with a green wave underline so before paragraph one they need a heading so you click before paragraph one press enter you have created space on top you say jack and the bean stock after highlight your heading center bold size 28 color orange then underline with a wave then they said this wave should be in green color underline color you say green we are done with formatting the heading next is change the line spacing for all paragraphs of text to 1.5 so we are going to highlight our paragraphs we go under paragraph then line spacing and choose 1.5 save changes next on our instruction is drop cap onto two lines the letter beginning paragraph one so what are we going to do here we are going to go on paragraph one this is our paragraph one we highlight our first character or first letter we go to insert then where we have drop cap click down arrow and go to drop cap options in position choose dropped number of lines to drop choose reduce them to two click ok next insert an auto shape of the face in the middle of paragraph one insert an auto shape of the face in the middle of paragraph one so here we are going to, to insert shapes then under simile face you draw in the middle of paragraph one click on your shape you got format under wrap text click down arrow and choose tight and so that is the instruction wrap text around it tight next insert a watermark as reading lesson one uh, sorry insert the watermark as reading lesson in your work so click anywhere in your work you go to page layout under watermark move down and choose custom watermark reaching custom watermark click text watermark instead of the word asap put the word reading lesson you click ok so what you see behind is a watermark next that on page 2 below the text use a table of 7 rows and 3 columns to design your class time table on page 2 below the text use a table of 7 rows and 3 columns to design your class time table so this is after this paragraph you press enter you go to we shall go to insert down arrow on table insert table they say that we use seven rows and three columns seven rows and three columns that is our table 
three rows i mean seven rows and three columns to design your cross time table i modify the table in h and make it appear like the one below so this is the table they want our table here this to look like this and so here we are going to highlight the top row you right click merge cells after right there the word timetable for reading lessons timetable for reading lessons so you can highlight it you go home tab center bold you can even increase font size maybe to 18 then still in this same row you can come to shading and choose color light green and so this makes it top row then below we have class 2 class 3 so here we have class 2 here we have class 3 then here we have days of the week monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday. Then after we have these patterns. These are called patterns. And so you will highlight these two cells. Right click, merge cells. Again, right click there. Borders and shading. You come to the shading tab. So under patterns, click down arrow, scroll down up to DK grid, click there and then you click OK. Then next there is this, you highlight these two, right click, merge cells, right click there again borders and shading under patterns click down arrow scroll down up to LOT vertical then you click OK next on our table this cell this is the cell that was split into two so click on it right click and choose split cells under split cells number of columns to number of rows one leave it as default click ok so that you select the first row i mean the first cell right click borders and shading under shading patterns move down and choose dk grid click ok and then this one here you right click borders and shading under shading tab move down and choose LOT vertical you click ok so now we are done with these patterns inside remaining on our table is this thick border surrounding our table and this black section so how do we insert black section you will draw a table so you go insert table draw table you draw from this section hope we are together after drawing that take back the pencil or pen then you highlight this section right click merge cells right there the word break after highlight it right click text direction so from here you check here the word break starts from bottom to top 
vertically upwards so you choose this click ok you can bold it on the home tab bold center you can increase font size and then you save changes more to that we say that our table is surrounded by a thick border and so select your table using that kind of pointer the whole table is selected right click borders and shading now we use the borders tab you choose grid increase width to around 3 pt then apply it table click ok that is our thick border surrounding our table next on our instruction is the key and so we shall have it like this we can have key so you can even highlight this word key and bold it and then here we shall insert a table insert table of four columns one row click ok so here we have patterns we have LOT vertical teacher agnes DK grid teacher Helen so you right click borders and shading under shading tab under patterns move down to DK grid click ok you put it there teacher teacher agnes select that right click borders and shading under shading tab go to patterns choose rot vertical then you put teacher heron now when you look at our key carefully this here we don't have borders top bottom here we don't have top bottom right so you will select that you right click borders and shading under borders tab remove top remove bottom click ok can see how it looks like select that right click borders and shading under borders tab remove top bottom and right remember to leave left click ok click anywhere our key is done hope we are together guys j insert a header of your names and class so we go to insert under headers and footers click on header move down to edit header and then you put your names kakuru bernard s4 blue or s4 west you close header footer or double click in your work save changes next on our instruction is save changes to your work and make print out so we have saved we can click file print so from here you choose from your printers which one is available and then here you can choose number of copies you want to print and then you say print from there thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel for more lessons that will be loading thank you very much please like my page and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much